Everybody with cystic fibrosis has to live with different complications. It might be brittle bone disease, it might be uh, diabetes, it might be acid reflux. I know, for example, that you won't be having the same day that I'm ha having. I'm on home IVs at the moment, doing six IVs a day. You might not be, you might be just stuck in clinic, for example, a bit bored. You might even be doing some extra chest physio. So what I really want to know is, how can I have less CF clinic appointments? How can I have less home IVs? When are the next big drug breakthroughs coming? What is happening in healthcare that will directly improve my life? But we're beginning to understand now that CF, the condition of CF is not necessarily um, purely related to the mutation in the CF gene, but that there are other factors that have a big influence on how that CF then presents. The two major factors are internal factors, uh, and that relates to your own genetics, but then there are also external factors that are environmental, economic, your lifestyle, because these may be as important as the CF mutation. This would move us from a position of treating people as a group, which is precision medicine, so based on your genotype, to moving to a situation where we treat each individual as an individual, um, based upon their genetic background and their environmental background. I know there are more precision medicines in development, and I'm happy to take part in clinical trials, but how do I know I'll end up on the drug or combination of drugs that best suits me? Dr. Jeff Beekman and his team are investigating how to test drugs on people's cells in a lab rather than in our bodies so we can find out what the right treatment is before I start taking it. So especially for uh, some of these drugs, um, uh, people with rare mutations don't have access to these. We would be able to test, especially for these rare subjects, whether these drugs will work and then also make sure that these drugs become available also for these subjects so they don't so they aren't missed actually in the entire process these cells can be stored also in a biobank so you can freeze them and once you get future drugs um, uh, being developed by industry you can thaw, thaw the cells again and then do all these types of combinations of drugs and see which which combination of drugs is most optimal for which individual so i really see a tailored approach of, of of trying to, to generate optimal therapies for individual patients. Now, this might sound weird to you, but I really like cleaning. It's a bit of a hobby of mine. Unfortunately, these days, I don't get to clean very often. In fact, I have to have a cleaner because uh, I'm just not well enough to clean. I don't have enough energy to do all the things that I want to do and to stay well. Professor Andres Floto is looking at how we can use technology at home to help us decide which days are good for a deep scrub and when to get the cleaners in. So the potential impact of remote monitoring is huge. It allows individuals with CF to only come to hospital when they need to. The second thing is that we'll hopefully be able to identify the clues that will predict an exacerbation before individuals feel ill. The third thing is that we'll be able to introduce a drug in clinic and see the immediate benefit of it. Or for example, if people have to start IV antibiotics, to know really quickly whether they're working or not. And most importantly, it empowers the individual with CF because they can see exactly how their body's going on a day-to-day -day basis. What about those other big decisions? What's my next career choice? Where could I live? Where should I go on holiday? How can this sort of data also help me manage my own CF? So, so there is a lot of promises for um, individuals with CF in terms of personalised healthcare. We've heard a lot about um, new treatments, new drugs, but um, from, from my perspective, working on environmental factors, one of the key elements is being able to warn them about some of the risk factors that might trigger some of their clinical complications. One example would be um, if we identify a clear um, increase in some of the complications in relation to heat waves, um, to be able to warn patients when there is a heat wave scheduled or forecasted. Um, and, and it will be tailored advice in time because of that heat wave forecast, but also in space because it will affect some regions more than others. So we, we hope to be able to reach that level and to have enough evidence from scientific studies um, to be able to feed this back to patients so that it, they can tailor their behaviour and improve their quality of life. The things that are important to me, the things that make my life easier, won't be the same for you and your family. And that's what personalised care is really all about. It's not just about what genotype you have or what bugs you might have. It's about everything that makes you, you, and what makes your cystic fibrosis your CF.